Hey everyone, it's JC for Ink on 3. Today I wanted to make a card featuring the June release stamp set called Bad and Bougie. I've also paired the stamp set with Roses in Bloom from Ink on 3. I was inspired by the Lush perfume bottle on the Bad and Bougie stamp set and thought, well, let's make an over the top perfume advertisement based card, but with a touch of sophistication and simplicity. The Bad and Bougie stamp set was released in June along with a collaboration hop from Gina K. I'm a little late to the hashtag bougie party, but I'm still really excited about this project. This stamp set is totally my vibe, and I know I'll be making more of these types of cards for my friends. So the first thing I did was take a fairly inexpensive watercolor paper with a low texture. I stamped the Roses in Bloom images with Ink on 3 Blackout Specialty Hybrid Detail Ink. When this ink is dry, it is waterproof, so it works well with alcohol-based markers, and in today's case, I'll be using it with watercolor. And by the way, all the Ink on 3 materials I use today are listed in the description box or over on the Ink on 3 blog. I won't stamp the entire image because my goal with this flower cluster stamp is to cut it apart after coloring and arrange the flowers in a way that works for my project. I'll also stamp two of the small bud images included in the stamp set just in case I need more filler for the new arrangement. Now I'll speed through the watercolor portion. I used Windsor Newton tube watercolors and a silver black velvet number no. 8 round brush to pick up the watercolor pigment. I'm not going for precision here or anything super lifelike, I just wanted a playful bouquet with a looser feel. The colors I used for the flowers are Opera Rose, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, Sapia, and then lastly Windsor Orange in the red shade. For the leaves I picked up some mixed colors that were already on my palette. I just liked how there was a variation of eucalyptus leaf shades and I kind of went with it. Now I'm just going to put on a bit of music and I'll see you in a bit.
Once I'm happy with the watercolor results, I'll start fussy cutting the images. Roses in Bloom by Ink on 3 has a coordinating SVG file for the stamp set, but today I opted for cutting out the images with a swivel knife. And again, I didn't use the entire stamped image, just pieces so I can make my own arrangement. Over in the top left, you'll see I've made a rough arrangement uh, temporarily tacked with some glad press and seal. Using press and seal makes it easy for me to transport an entire arrangement, so you'll see me use this in a few moments. But now, I'm going to work with the Bad and Bougie set from Ink on 3, and like I said, I love the perfume bottle image that comes with this set. The first thing I'll do is stamp the image in the same blackout detail ink from Ink on 3 using my stamp positioning tool. This is just a temporary measure as I will heat emboss over this. So I'm not removing the stamp from the tool as I know I'll use embossing ink right over this black outline. I'll also create a mask with a sticky note tab for the small label window on the perfume bottle. I'll cut out my mask and place it over the window on my stamped image. And then I'll take an ink blending brush and blend some golden round ink from the bottom of the bottle diffusing to the top. I just wanted the illusion of a shiny gold bottle. And I'll also do the same thing for the lid of the bottle just by adding a few strokes. Before I move on to heat embossing, I'll make sure the dye ink I just blended is completely dry. Otherwise the embossing powder is going to stick all over it. I used the Ink on 3 Juicy Clear Embossing and Watermark ink to stamp over the black outline image, and I used Gold Rush Embossing Powder from Ink on 3 to create this lovely golden bottle. Then once heat set, I'll cut out the image with the coordinating die and begin assembling the perfume bottle and flower bouquet. Oh, and the sentiment is the most important part. I used the hashtag bougie sentiment and created a sentiment strip stamped from the same blackout detail ink. Okay, we are almost to the final assembly of the card. I took a black A2 panel and my Versa marker embossing marker and drew some circular scribbles roughly the size of the arrangement that you see me picking up. I tried to keep it super random but also not so cluttered because I didn't want to take away from the floral arrangement. I put down the same gold rush embossing powder and heat set the gold and black background. I added some white splatters with Dr. PH Martin's pen white and a water brush. And I configured the final arrangement, added some glue to the back, and raised up the sentiment and perfume bottle with some foam squares. And that finishes this bad and bougie card. Hey, let me know what you think in the comments below about this project, and if you like what you've seen from me, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. I hope you try mixing up your stamp sets and see what you come up with. Thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you all very soon, and have the best day.